All right, what's going on everybody? My name is Poke Drago and welcome back to another video. Now in this video today, we are going to Carolina Exotics Car Club and I am late to go to there because I was busy talking to a family member of mine. Anyways, I'm gonna start up Dragon Slayer and let's go on the road. Well, let's get on the road. So I'm at Carolina Exotics Car Club, but let me also rephrase this. I've been at Carolina Exotics Car Club. I've just been busy talking to a lot of people, but I wanted to first start by showcasing, well, for starters, it's an Urus right there, but this beautiful 458 owned by a good buddy of mine who I need to go for a ride in his car because holy moly, his car is just supremely loud. And it's just also just amazing. This car was the only car that I remember when I've actually revved, he and I both revved our cars. He, this car was the only one that can actually, you know, keep up with me in terms of sound. Uh, beautiful Audi RA 720S Porsche that Lotus looks pretty nice look at that that's actually really cool LC 500 I actually haven't seen many of these LC 500s and it's kind of questioning me because this is pretty much what all of us would want you know I mean mine is it not having a manual but you know you know naturally that's pretty V8 you know it's not too fast so you can actually utilize all the power but and it's like a really good gt car i mean leave it leave in the comment section what am i missing like what am i missing why do why don't we don't see many of these then we have a good buddy of mine's audi r8 v10 plus Ooh, gosh this thing is nice i'm glad that he actually came and he is well he brought his re he didn't bring any of his uh, other cars because i haven't seen him in a little bit so gas junkies glad you came hopefully you know you and i can make another video soon with your beautiful re you got my buddy's beautiful z06 these c7s are always they always still look amazing for a front engine supercharged v8 car these things still look absolutely fantastic got my buddy's brand new GT3 with the manual manual GT3 not bad not bad at all but one thing I do want to show you guys is this right here the EQS and this car I mean it's it's iffy uh, I, it, it does look interesting but I think it looks too like future future like to to me be like what a traditional car looks like i mean you have like the 100 percent aerodynamic wheels i mean you have like all the screens in here which i don't like i don't like that at all because if something happens to one of those screens you're gonna have to probably take out this whole panel to probably fix it it's just not one of my not my favorite but i mean the design is Definitely different. It's 100% different. <laughs> Let me know. Would you guys want something like this? Because I know you guys will probably kill me in the comments for people who actually went to this event and say, you didn't get the mercy. Here it is in all of its glory. Now that was a cold start, ladies and gentlemen. That is a cold start. Merci Lago, merci Lago. There it is, there's my buddy with his Huracan heading out. Got him. Wow! Dang, that thing is ridiculous! <laughs> Sounds insane. It looks like something straight out of Beverly Hills, like California. Remember, that was a, a trend back in the day, too. Oh, I love it. Woo! What's up? See ya, see ya! That demon, baby. Demon. <laughs> Gosh. Even when it's cloudy like it is today, Rod's Vista is like literally the closest thing we get to the sun right now. This is 
Gosh darn it, Rob. Why is your car got to look so nice? <laughs> one of one piece to this thing. This thing, you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the best piece to. I don't, anything you see in California or, or any of those car spotters that tell you guys, oh, no, this is the best piece to. Nah, this one is one of one. And, and the only thing that, that comes close to this spec is there's a La Ferrari that that has this spec but I mean it's somewhere um, I think in a basement or somewhere locked up check it out you guys oh my gosh that one went, the balloon went out wide Those, these little cars right here take some skill to actually control. Oh, wow. Okay, I can see why these things can be pretty entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something that is quite rare to see. Well, for starters, both of these Camaro Z01 1LEs are both rare to see. Mainly because both of them are tuned by Hennessy. But this one's even more rare for one reason. If I come down, you know, let's follow this line. Follow it, follow it, follow it, follow it. Yeah, this is the real deal. This isn't no trickery or whatnot. This is pretty much the true demon killer right here, powered by Hennessy. And there, see, there's your plaque right there of authenticity. Oh my goodness. And this one hits a special place in my heart because this one has the 10 speed automatic transmission in it. I mean, look at that. Look at that wing right there. I mean, it's the Z01 1 wing, but it still looks nice. It looks so nice. You got your crazy diffuser. Oh my word. There's that famous old muscle car cam that, that a lot of people know and love. Oh, that really is <laughs> Wow. Just listen to where this thing sounds up here. That is scary. That is 100% terrifying. Wow. Oh my goodness, that was good. Woo! Then, we have this one right here. The lesser, if I can call it lesser, I'll put in quotation marks, 850 horsepower but here's the difference whereas that was the 10 speed this one is the manual so pick or choose your battle you want the 850 with the manual or you want the 10 speed but you have the traditional but the actual like demon killer this is what what is utilized to be called the demon killer i mean this right here would give a demon a good one for its money but i'm pretty sure the demon would still be able to edge it out just a little bit due to the fact that even being automatic that one is the 10 speed, so that one will easily whoop the demon's tail. <laughs> 